chumming up some some minnows, some minners. Minners. They get all fired up. <laughs> Bean's got the chum going, trying to catch minnows. Got the cast out there. See so if we catch some live bait, then uh, try to catch a couple tunas on the way out, then go sword fishing. They're coming up though. They are getting thick. They're all fired up. They're all happy. You can see them down there. They're getting breakfast. All right, let's load up. What's the secret, Nick's, Nick's oatmeal in here? There you go. We didn't catch a single live bait yesterday, but they're down there today. Every day's different. One more, one more. Watch out. Here we get them. I feel them. We got them. We're just setting up here with live baits. We just got a big blue runner. Put your tips together. You have to go over top. He's underneath. Yep, there you go. Up nope. the way. No, Otherwise, no, you're underneath. Way. There you go. Okay, yep. 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 Got some tangles there. Yeah, just keep drifting them on out there. Yeah, keep drifting it. Let it go out away from the boat. Yep. Hoping to try to catch some tuna here this morning. Okay, now put your tips back together. Go back over top of her. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Come back over. Yep. yep. Then you can pull them this way. Maybe a little bit try to pull them away from her. There you go. Bonita. Thank you, got, you got a tuna, I think. Yours is a bonita. So yours is a good bait here. Yep, you got a nice tuna on. Big black on here. You got one. Good job. A couple more times, you almost got him. Lift up one more time. It's nice and easy. Nice tuna. You got him. All right, you grab, uh, grab the gaff there and pull him on in. Teamwork. We got Yay! one! We're on the board! Woo! We got tuna! I think Andy's got on a nice tuna. He's been fighting for a while. Yeah. All right, let's I'm gonna get... laugh if it's like a <laughs> Might be a blue runner. <laughs> this is Miss Blue Runner up here. Yeah. I mean, these are big blue runners up here. Hey, let's, yeah. let's get rid of him and let's get some new bait on there. That's good right there. Perfect. That's a trophy blue runner right there. <laughs> All right, Beam, we need another bait up here, buddy. Here we go. Don't try a slip knot. Here you go. You're all set, ready to roll. Got a hook going on the bow. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, you got to bite it, I think, right? Yeah, you got to bite it. Broken line. Yep. You got him out. Perfect. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, that might be a tuna there. Oh, yeah. Nice pick collector. That's a 20 plus pounder. He might be 25. Throw a couple more baits. Um, let's try to get this big black one here first. Screaming, huh? Backbreakers. Big tuna. Nice tuna on the spinner rods this morning early. We couldn't get a bait yesterday, never got no tunas, but every day is different. You know, we got bait this morning now. India's got on a nice tuna. Oh, okay. oh yeah, big black. Oh, that's yeah. a 29 pounder. Nice engine. Yeah. One more look around. Mm -hmm. at least one fast. Yeah, to the white from the boat. Right from the boat. Yeah, yeah. Big one. Oh, yeah. That is a giant tuna. Look at that. Look at that oh, black Good job, Andy. <laughs> Look at that. Good work, man. Good work. That good is a work. big black fin. That's a whopper black fin. Oh, look at that. We still get her hook. Oh, that's a 30 pounder. Oh, my God. <laughs> Science actually lied. Oh, my God. That's a 30 pounder. Oh, my God. That's a 30 pounder. 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 That's a there. I was hoping it was something decent. Yeah. We didn't want a bonita. You got a nice tune on too. Here we go. Let's see. It broke off. Yeah. Might be a king down there. She lost him. Bad. What are we gonna do with you? What are we gonna do with you? <laughs> Might have been another blue runner. Who knows? Another tuna here. Lift up easy. He almost got it. One more time. So we're tangled up here, so you can't catch nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep your bail open in the bow there. Right? You got one? I don't know. He just belly hooked down. Let him eat it for a second or two. Up to the now. There you go. Oh, you got him now. Oh, 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 right, over over top, under. I... Other way. Yep. Up, under? Under, 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 under then over. Yeah. Put over top now. Try that. Up. Him up. Here we go. That was a good grab. Got that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quick reaction. Yeah, 
Yeah, cat light reactions. I know there's a kingfish anyhow, so it's all right. We want tuna. I think you might have a tuna on though. Check it out. Worms, baby, worms. Yeah, this one's a, you got a tuna on yours or banana? We got a tuna here. Some of these are bonitas, but those are great swordfish baits. This one's a tuna here. Blackfins are biting this morning. I don't think it's a tuna, do you? I don't think so. I think it's not a bonita. I think it came to come up. Oh, there he's coming fast. It's a bonita, I think. That's a bonita. The old bonita. Where's the tuna? Might be a blackfin. Oh, we got a bonita. Yeah. Bonita in the belly. That's why he's fighting funny. It's a bonita in the belly. You don't play around. He got tired of catching him in the mouth. We're marking the tunas right there and a lot of bonitas. So these tunas and bonitas are mixed together, but I think we got another tuna on here. Oh, you got on a big rainbow runner. Now, if you come to Bud and Mary's, I do a lot of swords, but all these other boats, they stay on the reef this time of year. And there's tunas around right now. There's sailfish, rainbow runners like that. The Yaltel snapper, there's some grouper. If you want action, there's kingfish, there's some wahoo around. I mean, you come in, go on a charter boat there, you can do that. Just, I do a lot of sword fishing, but we're mixing in a little bit of this today on the way out. You can see that once we see those lines getting crossed, we got to move right before it happens. It's going to break off. Which one? Which one? <laughs> I want this one. The bean wants the fun part, he wants to gaff him. Better not miss, that's all I'm saying. If he misses, me and Andy are gonna throw him over. Tell her to keep her bonita yep, away keep from Yep, keep her uh, line down, keep yep. the line down. Perfect. Okay, now lift yeah, him up. Pull your bonita away from us here, we got a big okay. tuna on. Keep your bonita away. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one we want here, another Woo! big black one. Yeah, so nice. Oh, yep. rod down, we got there we go. Yeah, yep, one more time. Nice and gentle. Yep. Get him, bean. Drill him. Boom, we got him. Nice. Bean, don't go out over on me. Yeah. Look at the fat one. Excel, look at that. There you go. Look at that. Good work. Good job. There you go. Right in the corner. Oh, yeah. So we do have to go through a lot of these bonitas to get those big black fins, but we got two real big black fins. We have got a lot of bonitas. We got crab bait and swordfish bait. And more crab bait and more swordfish bait. So Joey's up there on the fearless and we we're right next to each other this morning But we were there just about five ten minutes before him and we got minutes, but he didn't get him That's how it was for us yesterday. We didn't catch any bait and the first couple boats got him and But at Bud and Mary's we help each other out. So we're gonna give him a, our leftover bait here and Hopefully get some tunas on it We can, we can give you probably one more of those too See you guys later. All right, so we, just, we had about 20, 25 minutes we gave them there. Hopefully we'll catch some fish with those. Like I said, at Bud and Mary's, what we do, we help each other out. Joey took his kids out last week and then won the uh, Alamara Junior Sailfish Tournament. That's right. They caught seven sails in two days. His daughter got her first uh, three ever, one after another. They did well. So we're going sword fishing now. We'll see if we catch anything else, but if not, we got tuna for dinner. Right, Andy? Yep, absolutely. We've been trying to fish together for a while, but I've been busy, but we're out today, so today's our day. We are sword fishing now. We might have some squid on, I think. We are marking a lot of squid there. You can see them also. Maybe a pomfer or something cool, but I don't think it is. Is there anything on there, Bean? Oh yeah, it's heavy. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's calamari. Is there calamari on there? We got calamari. We got calamari? We got squid. We got calamari. We might have double hair calamari. We could have one on each rod. Oh, we got calamari. Oh yeah. There's our calamari. Yeah, there you go. There's your appetizer right there. Yep, there go right there with the tuna. Look at that. Look at him. Look at that squid. A big old squiddy. Look at that. Nice. Oh, he's angry. It's the catch of the day. 
Look at that. We got fresh squid. We might have more on another rod too. Look at the bait. Let them feel the tentacles. Here, come check it out. Oh wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. That beak in there. Let's see that beak. If he wants to bite you, look at that. Oh look, look, you see it moving? Yeah, look, look, it's coming out. Look, 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 look. Will you, how much money would you give me if I get bit by a squid? James got bit by a dog. Really? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's that cool. Guy, yeah? That's cool. There you go. All right, remember we got a couple on back here, it looks like, too. We'll see in a second. Is that a fish or squid? I don't know, it's heavy. I just saw it shining. There's a fish? Yeah. What do we got on here? We got a fish on here. It's got something. What, what is, is it? Fish. What, what is, is this? What, what is, is it? it? What, what is, is it? it? What is it? What is it? It's a it's barracuda! A barracuda. Oh, yeah, barracuda. Oh, Mira, 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 Mira. Look at that. Look at the barracuda. Oh my gosh. Dude, he came so up. So, what happened there was when we let the bait out, the barracuda probably ate it. Then an eight pound sinker took him to the bottom and he was on there for the last 45 minutes. I'm going to picture that one. Oh, he is stiff. That's too funny. All right. That's good eats. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. Good eats. Alright, that's pretty funny. The barracuda must ate the bait on the way down. There we go. Um, the rod just bent over. We got a fish on. I think it's a swordfish. What's your kid's name? Nick and Drew. Uh, Nick and Drew, why aren't you here? Where are you at? Oh man, this one's all crooked. I won't use the other one, but James didn't put the dart back in it. And by the way, James, Bean's not happy. I think they'll have a tip on the dock. We gotta get a new tag, the other tag fell off. The streak's alive, one more day at least. So we uh, tagged him and released one swordfish there. We came in here a little bit shallower, doing some bottom fishing now, trying to get some snapper, maybe yellow eye, vermilion, maybe a scamp grouper. Wind picked up, it's blowing, you know, 15, 18 knots now. Out of the south, south gets kind of choppy out here, so nice little swell now coming. But uh, trying to add some color to the box. We got those tunas this morning, and uh, let's see what we get here. He's like good. Yeah, he is. Let's see what we got over here. What do you think it is, dinner? That's it. So there you go, you got color. Let's see it. I'm Ben, we got another Almaco Jack on up here too, by the way, that one's fighting. Almaco. You have two Almacos. Two. Or one Almaco, maybe one Amaco. have two Almacos, yeah. The light get broken off. Yep. There you go, double header. Look at here. Two, two for one. <laughs> so, beans icing down the fish, and look what he just found. How long has this been in there? Look at that. What's this? It was slime, huh? No, that was that. Was that. So, James, you said we had three yellow eyes the other day. I knew we had four. Bean just found the fourth. Listen, I'm going to say this. James, I wish you were right because I hate when Nick's right. <laughs> he loves to say, oh, I'm right. Oh, oh. I wish you were right. All right, James, we miss you today. We miss you. You want a snapper for dinner? Sure. I think you got a snapper on. I like it. They want white meat. We need some snapper. How's we need a couple yellow eyes. They want snapper. What do you guys say? How's it feel to want? 
I don't know. Thank you for whoever left it because my scalp will have been burned. And if you watch this, you'll be blind. So. That's true. Well, we got snappers. There you go. We got a couple snappers. Uh, we found a, we found we a good a rock here. There we go. Yep. A couple yellow eyes. It's a long way down. It is. Here it comes. About 10 feet to go. Oh, you got a stringer. You got at least two on. There you go, double header, nice. Got two of them going yeah. down. Turn all the way off. Here we go. There you go. More Here. snappers. Then uh, groceries. Um, that air bubble that came out of that. You can't find these at Winn Dixie or Publix. Not fresh. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Perfect. Getting some yellow eyes for dinner now. Yeah. Yellow eye everywhere. There's a big old shark swimming around. He knows we're fishing here. He wants our snapper. Pretty shark. So there's a dusky shark here. He's trying to eat our snappers, but he's chummed up on this bonita. You know, Bean actually just petted him. He just petted the shark. He's got a rig in his mouth. Looks like he ate someone's tuna rig because you can see a little uh, daisy chain skirt hanging out of him. Robin, is that yours? They all want to see Bean be successful. If you guys think Bean should make a YouTube channel, comment below. Tell me if you think Bean needs his own channel. I'm making my own custom rods. We're going to be called the Bean Pole. We'll let you know when it come out. 2092. Oh, here we go. Time to go home. Whew. Killer day. We got it all today for dinner. We let our swordfish go with a tag, and uh, let's go cook up a, let's go cut up that big old tuna. And, look at that tuna, I mean, beautiful. Let's go fillet them on up, and uh, I think I'm gonna snag a piece of that for dinner here. We'll cook that up at home. Uh, extra large blackfin tuna. By side though. We got Jamaican yeah, Mike right here too. Yeah, He's gonna wash their side yeah. hustle. Yeah, okay, I get it up. Everybody likes Mike, we need to get Mike in more videos. Up in his head there, we bud these out, just like normal, falling right down the center bone there. Look at the scales on that thing. I'm gonna sharpen the knife real quick. Fall down his backbone. Got that big old dorsal fin. It's kind of hard right around there. Sometimes you gotta come up just past it a little bit. Slab of tuna fish. Yeah. So, as this fillet is pretty long, I'm gonna do it in half. Half like this. Cut that skin off there. Get his bloodline out here where the bones are. Throw that away. That's prime right there. Cage. Bluefin tuna apparently they do eat the rib cages because there's so much meat between the bones, but those tunas are, you know, four or five, six, seven hundred pounds are huge. They're not that big. They don't get that big. Cut that in half again.
Just that little bit of bloodline there. We're just gonna knock the rest of that out. half of a big tuna you guys get the point we're gonna do the same thing to the other side same thing to him same thing to the rest these guys are taking most of with them i'm just gonna snag one little piece to cook up for dinner and uh we'll see you back at home did you guys have fun fishing yeah. for they wanted to fish for two years we finally got out there and we had a great day so tag release the swordfish a bunch of tuna some snappers and a surprise barracuda and some squid so we'll see you back at home thanks for coming down and fishing guys Thank Thank you. You. i hope we see you all sure. next time yeah, man. You have to eat a lot of fish this Christmas, you know. You yeah, you're going to eat a lot of fish this Christmas. If you don't eat a lot of fish this Christmas, Santa Claus not going to be happy. So, a <laughs> lot of fish. Respect to all of the fans. Big up. Yeah, man. Welcome back to the kitchen. We caught some giant blackfin tuna yesterday. I got the tuna here. I got it wrapped in paper towels. And that just helps suck all the moisture out of it. So, if you get tuna, you know, you can put it in your fridge, wrap it in a paper towel, and change it out a few times. And that'll get a lot of the moisture out of the meat. So I'm gonna hit mine with some butter olive oil. I'm gonna go with Sarah's favorite, polk and poultry rub right there. I'm trying to cut these all the same width so they cook the same. Check out baby Claire. Hi Claire. Good I job. wish I slept as much as she did. Good job, Mom. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, there goes my fork. Wipe it up on here. Clean, clean enough, right? Close the door. Ooh, that's hot. And we don't want to overcook the tuna. You know, I used to eat it more like medium, medium well, but as I've gotten older, I actually don't mind it being, you know, rare in the middle. So we're going to sear it for probably about a minute on each side and pull it on off. And the garden's coming along. You can see it here. Jamie just stopped by. Pretty soon we'll be uh, getting our own herbs right here. And we got some lettuce in here. We got some tomatoes growing, some basil. We got it all in there. So stay tuned. We'll see that along in the works. I got smoking. Here we go. That's probably the biggest difference. It, it is the biggest difference between this 885 model and my old 780 Pro. You know, this one gets to 500 degrees, so you can cook a little bit hotter. And when you want to do that, you know, it is nice to have. But for slow cooking, you know, and everything else, the other one was great. But I am liking this one. We'll give about one more minute in there. Here we go. Yes. Sarah smelt it, she even came over. I don't even know if I need a, a knife, but I got one. I'm starving. Oh, perfect. You see that there? Still medium, medium rare. I think we're in good shape. Sarah gets the first bite. Now she might have ate that off camera, but hopefully she'll still give us her honest opinion. Very good. Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. She gave me a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys can see the color there. I love it. I'm hungry. That was simple, you guys. I mean, it literally took two minutes to prepare. We rub it down with olive oil, put rub on it, put it on the grill. It cooked for about a minute each side, minute and a half at most each side. We got lunch right there. We got fresh tuna. I wish you guys were here to try this. And 
like I said, 150,000 subscribers. We are doing a big giveaway here. It's gonna include fishing, lodging, and either crabbing or lobstering, depending on the time of year. I don't know when we're gonna hit that mark, you know, I assume in 2021, obviously. Um, but one of you guys, you're gonna come down here and hang out with us for a few days, so we're looking forward to that. Hang on, I gotta give a shout out to someone. Uh-oh, Sarah's <laughs> taking the food away from me. Anyhow, I gotta give a shout out to Matthew. I wanna say happy birthday. Hope you like the new shirt and the new hat. And uh, hopefully I'll see you and your dad down here one day in Almorada. So have a good one, you guys. I don't know if this video is going up before Christmas, but if so, have a Merry Christmas. And if not, I hope everyone had a good Christmas. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Here we go. Oh, I'm trailing them. That's That's a big one. Oh, yeah. That is a giant tuna. Oh, look at that. Look at that black one. Oh, 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 good work. Yeah, good work. That is a big blackfin. That's a whopper blackfin. Oh, look at that. We still got her hook. That's a 30 pound.